Hey, good afternoon. Actually, good morning. It's not even afternoon yet. It is 1022 a.m. Happy Sunday afternoon. So, um, uh, sad to say that the Philadelphia Phillies did not win the World Series. I don't know what happened to the last two games, but they kind of like fizzled out. They went downhill on that. And that's kind of blah. So, anyway, um, I'm doing a load of wash. I'd like to take a moment to say also for Happy November, because I don't think I said Happy November yet. And if I did, I don't even remember. But it is November, so I am going to continue trying my uh, blends of coffee that I had gotten as a from as a kind gesture from a from a YouTube subscriber and 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 friend Miss K, and I'm trying the Happy Harvest blend today. So I just opened it. I had it going in my coffee maker, and I I'm doing a cup. My washing machine will stop in a few seconds, and I'm just going to let that hang. Um, this one here for the Happy Harvest blend is a bountiful blend of 100% Arabica beans with rich aroma and well-rounded taste. This is in medium roast. Again, 11 ounce big, medium roast. This to me is really, I don't think it's really going to have like any kind of a special flavor. They didn't really put um, any kind of a flavor such as cinnamon or anything, but I love cinnamon. So when I usually make a pot of coffee, I will make myself a pot of coffee and to get into the spirit of it, I usually add cinnamon into my blend of coffee. Um, unfortunately, I still didn't get a new carafe, uh, carafe, carafe, a carafe. I forget what that's called. Anyway, it's a glass damn coffee pot. Okay. Anyway, cause mine broke. So when I get one, I will do a pot of coffee. Anyhow, this is the Happy Harvest Blend. So we're going to give this a shot. Happy November. <laughs> I felt that I was saving that for the blend of November. I already have my uh, sugar in. I have, I'm going to put my little drop of milk in. And I kind of put a generous amount of the coffee into my K-cup holder because I wanted to really get the richness of the coffee. I cannot drink coffee black. I can't do it. I tried, but I can't. This is my holiday mug. I think I showed this to you already. So happy holidays. Uh, what did I do yesterday? I did manage to do, I worked from the outside in yesterday. Mm. Let's see, let's see. Hmm. It's, um, depending on how you make it, you can make it strong, you can make it weak, you know this. Um, I made it semi, semi-strong, semi-weak, so I do have the aroma and the flavor. The uh, aroma inside the bag was, 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 was strong. And like I said, it really does not have any kind of a special flavor other than it is a cup of coffee mm. you may hear my tv on inside i was watching the golden girls besides switching back and forth the hallmark movies <laughs> christmas is upon us oh yes the aroma the flavor there is flavor there um to me, the flavor is just a cup of coffee, okay? That's what I really want to say. I, you know, they really didn't, they didn't put any specialty. I would have, I think it would have been nice if they would have put some, um, let's see, hazelnut. I really don't care for hazelnut. I have hazelnut coffee. I, I would only drink that if I really had no other coffee left in the house and I was desperate. But hazelnut is not my thing. If they would have put a splash of cinnamon in this, because I, I think cinnamon for the holidays is like really, really cool. Um, Joffrey's, dedication of brewing is Joffrey's. Uh, we roast coffee for people with a passion for coffee who are excited to experience new varieties and exotic flavors, creating our roast masters. 
created by our roast masters. Light or dark, savory or sweet, there's a Joffrey's coffee for every moment and mood, celebration and season. Each masterfully roasted to order, especially for you, for your, especially for you from our home in sunny Tampa, Florida. So, Joffrey's everyday moments that, that much better. Joffrey's everyday moments that much better. Yeah, I read that right. <laughs> it's right there. So, I, I had to, I had to reread that there for a second. But anyhow. And this was, this is wonderful. And I thank you again to Miss K. I, however, do have one more coffee to um, review, but that's going to be in December. I probably guess that has something to do with the Christmas holiday. Yes. So I have yet to see to make it to my um, uh, Marshalls or Target for, for Joffrey's. Um, I had the shot, however, <clears throat> To purchase the Joffrey's um, Halloween, the Sanderson Sisters blend, but I didn't do it. I just, I just didn't feel the need to do it. I really, I was so angry at that point, going to House of Blues, not getting my House of Blues rock and roll coffee, the Joey Kramer rock and roll coffee. Joey Kramer's uh, the band member from Aerosmith. They do not carry that coffee anymore. They stopped carrying it. Either that or Joey Kramer stop the production, who knows? After COVID, everybody went whack-a-doodle. Everybody went haywire. So I was like really disappointed on that coffee. I love that coffee. Anyhow, getting back to Joffrey's. So I am trying the Happy Harvest Blend. I am, it is a good cup of coffee. It is. Is there flavor there as much as a, I call them fun flavors. I'm not getting any of that in this, although this is a good cup of coffee, I will say that. It's, you see the package, you get into the mood, happy harvest, happy November, happy fall, absolutely, you will get that mind-wise, so if that throws it off or if that brings in um, some of the holiday traditions or some of the traditions of the season, then this is your cup of coffee. There's nothing wrong with it. I, I'm enjoying it. I absolutely, I'm enjoying all the flavors. I really am. Oh. So that was my review. Yes, pick this up, definitely. If you can get to it. Yes, absolutely. Joffrey's also has a website for you if you want. Um, what else? <laughs> oh, my, my husband brought this home for me. This is a new obsession that is like, we need to get more of these, you know, when this one runs out. This is in, <clears throat> this is a 55 ounce container from the company Kirkland. And it is sold at Costco's. It is called peanut butter pretzels. Look at the size of this sucker. Okay. Peanut butter pretzels. Unbelievable. Okay. My husband brought these home. Um, the person had uh, given them to my husband. My husband works, to be honest with you, in an upscale, in an upscale building. My husband's a doorman, so people come by, and just you know, for all for all the workers, sometimes they bear gifts, and it's up to each member. Like you know, do you want you know, like if let's say if one coworker gets this. Um, if they have something like a small container, do you want us to split this? You know, you could take half, I could take half, or this one could take some, and this one could take... Nobody else wanted this last night, so my husband had dibs on it. <laughs> it was handed to my husband anyway, but my husband always offers, and that's pretty cool. So, I won the prize. My husband came home and says, I hope you like these. Oh, yes, I do. They have a hint of... Not even a hint. When they say peanut butter pretzels... They're not kidding. Peanut butter pretzels. And let me tell you something. This container is nice. This container is nice to actually take the label off. And and, and uh, it has like this nice, not a handle, but this is a place you can rest your hand. So um, I will say. Mm, inside. I thought they were, it says peanut butter pretzels. I thought they were peanut butter flavored pretzels. And then I'm looking at the outside of it, and I says, well, where's the peanut butter? My husband goes, how the hell do I know? <laughs> I says, I wasn't asking you. I just wanted to, you know, I was just making a statement. 
I took a bite and inside is the peanut butter. So of course for the ball game last night, I had a bunch of these in a little bowl. And I'm just enjoying the flavor of the peanut butter, the pretzel with the salt. It really makes a nice combination. And I have to watch my calorie intake because I'm still doing that. Since Disney World, I have lost some weight. My husband has lost some weight. We look good. Do I feel good? On and off. Days I feel better than others because of the Graves disease, and that's fine. Today happens to be not too bad of a day. So for 130 calories, serving size, you could eat eight of those. So I did just that last night. I, I did exactly eight. I put eight in a bowl. My husband goes, why don't you just fill a bowl? I said, no, no. I, I'm only required to eat eight. Why? I says, for my calorie intake. Calories here, 130 calories. They got eight of these for 130 calories. Which seems like a lot, but you know what? I was enjoying a baseball game, so I was okay. But I kept to the... I stuck to the regiment, which is pretty cool. So anyway, I can't wait to empty this container to use it for something. <laughs> Probably laundry related. I think I can do that. Anyhow, what else? My husband still didn't open up his packages yet, his bracelets. He just, you know, he's a guy that just leaves packages sitting and there's like four of them right now. And my, you know, my bracelets are also in there. So when I do crack them open, I will do a review on them. You probably won't see a review on the bracelets until Thursday. That's okay, because he has Tuesday and Wednesday off. And I, you know, I want to spend time with him. I don't really want to do any videos on, you know, on our time. Tuesday happens to be his birthday. So that happens to be a big to-do. Um, it's the 60th. Um, the thing is, is that we actually had a doctor appointment. I had my thyroid doctor appointment on that day, which we had switched now to the 29th. Because even the girl in the office, she called me to confirm. And I says, you know, nothing on. I says, she says, wait a minute. She says, I'm looking here. She says, is that... It's that Joe's birthday. I said, yeah. She says, you really want to come in on the birthday? I said, you know what? No, let's switch this. <laughs> so I'll go in on the 29th. Um, eager to see what he's going to say. I always get nervous about these things. He does not do anything anymore in his office. He will send me out to a, an outside lab. I'll probably have to go for a sonogram. I don't know at some point. We'll see. I, I can't think about that stuff right now. It's just, it makes me very, you know, anytime a doctor appointment makes me nervous now, you know, it used to be that I used to love going to him. You know, he was, he's a great doctor. I am here because of that man. I want to tell you that. Um, but no, I get, I get this eagerness. I get this anxiety when I go there now, but I guess that's just me. Anyway, moving on. So I got my coffee. I like the coffee. Pick up the coffee if you can. Happy Harvest Blend. One more time. A bountiful, I thought it said bootyful, but it's a bountiful blend of 100% Arabica. Arabica, that's it. A-R-A-B-I-C-A. -A -A, Arabica beans with rich aroma and well-rounded taste. So, um, not a flavored, flavored coffee. So there's no, you know, things. But if you want to add, I usually add a little hint of cinnamon. If you're making a pot of coffee, do that. And when I do get the right pot, I can make a pot of coffee and I'll show you how I add the cinnamon into the into the uh, the ground mix. <laughs> okay, that'll be for another one. Um, somebody was asking me, and let me point this out. Somebody was uh, requesting and asking me about my rings on my hands. Um, certain rings I wear for many years. Rings now are mostly for costume jewelry. I wear them, but then I take them off, preferably to uh, refrain from having green fingers. Um, there is a trick to do that to, so that you don't have green fingers. I wore rings the other day. Certain rings that don't fit, I use them for knuckle rings. So um, This ring here, but I might as well just say it now. This ring here is my clatter ring. My clatter ring is... Um, I'm Irish. My mother and father had purchased that for me for my 20th birthday. And this ring is very special because it actually came from Ireland. Um, how it happened was there is a popular store in <coughs> the country of Ireland that is, it's through Shannon Airport. 
And my friend, my mother's friend who was going that way, she says, Mary, I could stop off through Shannon Airport because the jewelry store is right there. You will be getting 14 karat gold, you know, and it was, it was beautifully, when I had gotten it, it was in a little box. It was a beautiful little box. And it had a booklet for the history of the clatter ring. And it explains to you what the symbol means. You know, the crown means loyalty, the hands mean, and the heart means, you know, it gave you a little, a little booklet with that. And back then for my 20, I'm 56 now. So that was my 20th birthday, a uh, hell of a long time ago, but, um, it was less expensive to get gold from there. And it was less expensive to get it, you know, right at that, that jewelry store. It's 14 karat gold. So that was it on that one. That's my 20th birthday. My wedding ring is my wedding ring, obviously. This ring was actually cut three times to size my finger because when I got married in 1998, I was 30, 31, I wanna say. Yeah, 31. I waited later in life to get married, which was good. Um, <clears throat> even though I've been engaged since 1985. I was engaged since I was 18, 19, 20. <clears throat> 19, 20. About 19 or 20 years old, I was, I was uh, engaged. But uh, this was actually a, a dual color ring, which it had gold and silver in it. And silver plated. But the, the silver actually wore off. The jeweler asked me, do I want to reapply it? I said, nah, not reapply it. That's it. So this ring has been on my finger. But being that I was sick back then and very, very, very thin, the guy goes, this is like the third time I'm cutting a ring. Where the hell is your finger? I says, I know. Now today, this ring w went from a size six and a half down to a size, I want to say a size six. I have a ring size of inside, so I can actually do that. However, it is very hard for me to get this ring off now, as you will see. My fingers are very strange because I don't know if you could see that the finger goes upward. So therefore, when the ring goes over the knuckle, when it just makes it over the knuckle, then it gets very loose and then my rings start to turn. So all my rings turn and I hate rings when they turn. Well, anyway, that would be it on that. Basically, now I just have is costume jewelry. I had gotten some from Sunshine Boutique. You guys know about that from my girl. Um, these rings are cute. However, they were they were probably purchased through Amazon, which you can actually buy a whole set of these rings for like maybe 20 bucks. And they are, you know, they're silver plated, but there is one ring right here in particular I absolutely love. It has a Celtic it's a Celtic design to it. I don't know if you guys can see that. There you go. It has a Celtic design to it. And it's very small. I think it's like a size 5. So I, the other day I wore this. And I wore it right this way. And it right, fits right over. And it clicks right on there. So I, I know it ain't going to come off. And I use these rings as my knuckle rings. And some of them I could do that. Some are still. I still wear paparazzi. And I will mention that. Yes, I do. Because this ring I went absolutely bananas for. And when my uh, consultant was selling them, I bought both of them because they had, she had different, uh, different colors in them. This is the black color, but I will do this again so you know what this stands for. It's a sideways ring, but as you can see, you know who that is. <laughs> And now I've, I see another consultant has been going around going, and this is, look at this, this is the Mickey Mouse ring. Yeah, okay. But anyway, nobody else said that before, like my consultant said it. But you know what? I posted it, I said it, it came around, and now all of a sudden, you know, I mean, it's not hard to tell that it, it looks like you know who. So these rings from that company are stretchy. There is a uh, YouTube video out there that actually, you can actually, there's somebody does removal of the slots so that you can, you know, even if it's a little bit big, you can actually size it. I usually wear it, I want to say on this finger. Yes, I do. I usually wear it on this finger. Some of my fingers are not really the same size. Some of them rings don't really fit right when they're on your finger but this one does so I, I wear it like that and that's really it um 
it's nothing special. I just goof around with everything. This one I wore. Did I wear this on this one? No, I didn't. No, I couldn't wear that on that one either. Some of them I actually have a pinky ring. This was also in the lot through uh, my Sunshine Boutique. I, I guarantee you can probably get this in a lot on Amazon, but I wear this one on this finger, and this also reminds you of you know who. People were fighting over this that night. She says, oh, she says, listen, I only have one, and Maureen got it. She goes, <laughs> you know, it reminds you of you know who. It also reminds me of, you know, I mean, it reminds me of Mickey. Yeah, that's what I mean by you know who, but it kind of has like an animal kingdom sort of feel to it. I don't know. Like uh, like a Simba. So that's it on that one. Re really, that's all. Um, there is a trick to wearing rings that are not real gold or real silver. Um, my, oh, this one's cute. This one's an actual cute one, too. It has a little, it has a little sparkle to it inside. And now this one, the other day, I wore on my pinky. But would I wear these for hours and days at a time? No, I wouldn't. What the trick is, is that you get some clear nail polish and you put a good layer of coating inside the ring, all around inside the ring. Put about two, what I do is I put about two coats. Now you don't douse it on because then it gets clumpy. You just put a nice layer, two layers along the inside. You put one layer on, let it dry. Then you put the second layer and then you're able to wear these rings for quite a few hours without them turning. I did it the other day, I was fine. I took them off, no green fingers, no blue fingers, no any other color fingers. But those are costume jewelry rings, so I would not, you know, wear those for a long period of time. That's really it. I mean, I don't do anything as far as that is special. These rings stay on me all the time. I mean, my clatter ring, absolutely. Um, this one I had gotten from uh, Avon. This is a sterling silver ring. I think I paid 15 bucks for this and it has double wings. And to me, I feel like I carry those people that are no longer with me closest to me when I wear this. I feel like they give me um, strength. So, and that's sterling silver. So that doesn't turn at all. You know, before I start crying, let me stop. <laughs> Anyhow, that's going to conclude my video. I thank you so much for watching. I thank you so much for hanging out with me. As I stated before, I will never say thank you for subscribing. And No, I don't do that. Thank you so much for hanging out with me and listening to me and just shooting the breeze with me. Uh, thank you yesterday for all your interactions on my last video. Yes, I do get that. Um, whatever you hear is what you hear. I heard certain things. People corrected and heard you know, had experienced certain things. And then we all pulled that together. And I said, well, that's not what I heard. That's not what I've seen. But I can only go by what I heard and seen. So that's really it, you know. And the other person, you know, a person came out and, you know, like corrected that situation. I stand corrected. That's fine. Um, I'm not going to call the other person a liar or whatever. But it is what it is. It's no big deal. My point, <clears throat> my point of that last video was, is that the um, Prop 65 warning, you know. I think if, I, and I'm just going to say it, if, if uh, Paparazzi Jewelry had put that disclaimer out, like other companies do, Disney does it. I showed that to you yesterday in my yesterday's video. Have a look at that if you um, want to recap or whatever. But the Proposition 65 warning, I think it's more important now if you are buying costume jewelry. I think that is more important for the, for the company to cover its ass. And that's what Disney has done. That's what Disney does. Um, if Paparazzi did that, maybe they wouldn't be so stepped on. But they're going through life anyway, and they have no problems, and everything is full of sunshine and rainbow, so we're just, we're just going to leave them like that. I know I don't buy from them anymore, so. <laughs> uh, they lost quite a few. They also lost quite a few consultants, and that you can't lie on, so. All right, people. Enough talk about that. Thank you so much. Happy Sunday. Be safe out there. God bless you. Whatever you do, it's another gorgeous day. It hit 73 degrees yesterday in November. I was like, yes, another day without heat. Yes, another day without a gas bill. Yes. <laughs> Keep going. <laughs> Hopefully, I'd like to play a game and, like, run out the month of November and see how long we could go without putting on the heat. <laughs> anyway, uh, time change. We went back an hour. My husband was here yesterday at like 7 o'clock at night. I kid you not. 
switching all the clocks. I was like, I'm so screwed up. What the hell? Just somebody give me a time of what time it is. But um, he does all the smaller ones. I do all the larger. I do the stove. I do the microwave. I do my coffee maker. Um, phones, TV set, cable box. You don't have to do that. It does it on its own. But he does the clock radios and things like that. I do the um, thermostat on the wall. I will reset the time. So I did that in like two seconds. I mean, God must have been with me yesterday because I was like, oh, look at that. I did it in one shot. So I didn't have to play around with that for 20 minutes. <laughs> but anyway, that's it. Thank you so much, everybody. Happy, happy Sunday. Be safe out there. Pick up some Joffrey's coffee if you can. Happy Harvest Blend this month. Happy November, people. Love to all. Bye-bye.